The Rev Expansion Hub comes with a built-in inertial measurement unit, or IMU, capable of measuring four different properties. It contains a three-axis gyroscope for rotation, a three-axis accelerometer for acceleration, and a three-axis magnetometer for magnetic fields or for use as a compass. It also contains a temperature sensor. We'll use a sample op mode built into the robot controller to display the IMU sensor readings. It's accessed by creating a new op mode and selecting the sensor IMU sample from the drop down menu. We change it to autonomous and save it. For this op mode to run, you'll need to configure your robot to include the IMU. To do this, follow the Configuring Your Robot tutorial. Note that the IMU is internally connected to the I squared C bus zero, so you don't need to make an electrical connection. Your config file must, however, show it connected at bus zero and named IMU for the sample op mode to run without changes. To ensure this is true, check that your hub is connected to the robot controller phone and the hub is turned on and then select Configure Robot and then the new button followed by the scan button. The IMU will be configured automatically. You'll still need to save the configuration under name of your choosing. To cause the block's environment to add the IMU sensor to its menu, we need to return to the main menu and then reopen the op mode we created earlier. The sample op mode displays some sensor readings, but we'd like to display the IMU system and calibration status as well. Let's start by adding a telemetry block that takes a text string. We'll plug the IMU system status into it so the status will be displayed on the driver station. We'll add another telemetry block and connect a calibration status block to it. Now we select the op mode from the driver station phone and then initialize and run it. The system status should be displayed as Fusion, indicating the op mode is running properly. The calibration status displays whether or not the various IMU sensors are properly calibrated. The letter code indicates a particular sensor and the number code indicates its current status. A calibrated sensor will show the number 3. If you don't choose a mode for the IMU, it automatically calibrates the gyro sensor shown as G. If you choose the IMU mode using a set sensor mode block or want other sensors to be calibrated, you may need to calibrate them by rotating the IMU or the robot, as we'll demonstrate next. Rot about Z indicates the rotation about the Z axis, referred to as heading or yaw. Rot about Y indicates rotation around the Y axis, which is called roll. Rot about X indicates the rotation around the X axis, referred to as pitch. These three motions can be used to calibrate the sensor if you repeat them several times. Gravity displays the acceleration forces in three dimensions using the accelerometer. Notice that when the hub is at rest, the z-axis acceleration is about 9.8 meters per second per second. This is the acceleration due to gravity. The inertial measurement unit built into the Rev Expansion Hub can be used to give an autonomous mode the information it needs to allow the robot to navigate on the field. We'll show how this can be done in another video.